Meantime, a federal judge has ordered a temporary block on the government's Jedi cloud contract, which was awarded to Microsoft. Competing bidder Amazon filed that lawsuit, claiming the evaluation process included clear deficiencies, errors, and unmistakable bias. The court granted the injunction that Amazon requested. Earlier this week, we talked to Amazon's uh, senior vice president of corporate affairs, Jay Carney. It's about ensuring that the government, the Department of Defense, uh, is uh, free of political interference in these kinds of decisions that affect, uh, you know, the capabilities of our armed services. Uh, and that, as you said, there are a lot of protests in this arena. This one, uh, and therefore they, a lot of them don't succeed. I would say this one's highly unusual uh, for some of the reasons that we've laid, in our, laid out in our filings. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty unusual to have this kind of uh, political interference that was seen in this case. And, and we just want, you know, independent uh, legal review to assess what happened here and, and, and make the right decision. A spokesman from Microsoft says the company's disappointed with the delay, but believes they'll ultimately move forward with the work, which is not uh, an insignificant amount over 10 years. No, but it is amazing that David was talking all week about the sprint. Uh, that was a surprise, okay? Yes. It's a sprint that doubles. The, the judge and sprint, yes. Right. I uh, argue, yeah. Well, the, uh, this week's news, that was perhaps one of the most surprising yeah. things we saw. Here, uh, it's an amazing win, right? I mean, the challenge. And both stocks were down. So what does it say? It's just not that significant right. to exactly. both of these businesses, exactly. which we know are growing so quickly, Azure yeah. uh, at Microsoft, AWS, of course, the first, the leader still by far, but, but Microsoft growing matter. very quickly in cloud. Uh, right. And it's, listen, it's a big contract over, over years, but that $10 billion number, it was fought, they fought very hard for it. And it wasn't just Microsoft right. and, and Amazon. It included other players as well. Oracle certainly. We and think and obviously it's the president intervening. We should say right. that's the what allegation that. is that the president's uh, animosity towards Jeff Bezos, the owner of the Washington and the Washington Post, played a role here in trying to. Can I just them. invoke the attorney general of the United States, who also says that the president Trump has to stop interfering in the criminal justice system? Well, he just said stop tweeting. Well, stop. Well, yeah. yes. He didn't but, actually say stop interfering. Well, and right, the right. president today tweeted again yeah. about that. Secretary, Secretary Barr is like um, a real guy. But it'll be interesting to see if they, in fact, are able to depose some of the witnesses. And, and it's an important story it as is. a as a as, whether or not it's really important to the future of either one of these companies in terms of their cloud. Probably not. Read the Nvidia. Uh, okay. Conference I was call just going to go there and and talk about their incredible growth in data center, where they had a revenue of 968 million, up 43 percent year over year. And the reason quarter. why they have visibility next quarter, by the way, no other companies ever said we had. They said we have visibility, and the answer is because they haven't been able to even meet the demand of these two without, right. with or without this, the Jedi. I think the mostly. We just like the name Jedi. And almost three billion dollars in fiscal year twenty. Data. Oh no, no, it was just so remarkable. That re that revenue. business two point nine eight billion. Yeah, yeah, you. That's a double digit uh, beat for what people thought. But gaming is unbelievable, and they haven't even gotten that yet because there's new consoles coming up. The, the Nvidia quarter was striking, and the thing that really made it jumped out at me is is that the data center is becoming uh, a lot of it's becoming conversational. Like one of the things that the NVIDIA chips do, get this, yeah. you say, take me to the nearest Starbucks that's well rated on Yelp. I just invoked Yelp because it's doing so badly. And it'll, it'll say, sure, go. 300 milliseconds in answers. Infra Can you imagine? Yeah. That, David, that's much faster than you answer. A lot of times you remember in the podcast, you hear that silence. That's David dead pondering. Error. We call it dead air. Yeah, he's, he's 3,000 milliseconds. My AI needs acceleration. I, well, don't I need, worry. I Gen need, okay. Jensen Wong. I need the chip. David Jensen Wong will get me a chip. He'll, he'll fix you. Before you know it, I'll be speaking to you in Mandarin. I think he can have dogs speak. Uh, NVIDIA needs the favor contract. Well, remember, NVIDIA's <laughs> the name of my dog. Yes. <laughs>